Oh, my goodness. Well, I told you yes. You know, well, before I had early uni followers, um, and I still don't think many of my followers are um, friendly ones because there's not meant much positivity that comes out of them but I still just sort of use it because I don't have anybody else to talk to and I as I was saying earlier and I think I've said previously or I might have not said it on YouTube that um one of the ways that I try to survive is by putting something good into the world when something when someone screws me over or I could just try to you know I mean I'm naturally sort of quite helpful anyway and often intrusively so you know in ways that people find irritating but that is in my nature and I I think it's um I understand it more now that I know that I'm autistic. I didn't used to understand, well, I, I understood perfectly, but when people would say, oh, you're very kind, I would have to say to them, well, I'm, I may be kind, but this isn't kindness. It's just that I'm putting two pieces of the puzzle together. I'm seeing a need and I know what to put. I, it, 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 quite often it's just connecting two parties as I've just explained it to um, someone else because um, I've got another idea um, about sort of connecting um, some things, some, some charitable assistance. Um, the way I've explained it, and it's not a perfect explanation, but I just say people with compatible problems, and by compatible problems I don't mean problems that are the same, I mean problems that fit into each other like tongue and groove. It's like, oh, you need to get rid of something, and oh, you need that thing. And, you know, getting rid of something's actually a, a quite a problem, you know. And, you know, for an example that's... Um, very much in, 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 in keeping with what what I what I'm talking about, although I'm not going to go into detail, is that a lot of people need a bed, and a lot of people need to get rid of a bed, and getting rid of a bed is actually quite difficult, and it's, it's often less about taking the money and more about getting someone to take it off your hands, right? And so, you know, like like someone is going oh I really need a flatmate I can't find a flatmate and then I know someone they're like oh, I really need a room I really need a room and it's like oh my god I'm gonna put you guys together and I've you know I've match made like that as well I've match made couples and um, they've been very very um enthusiastic matches I've been really spot on about that but they've ended in absolute you know <laughs> Um, chaos and, and fire in the end but if, but 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 certainly I've, I've pegged them right they've absolutely loved each other so you know I tend to be quite good at fitting those two sort of oh your problem and your problem fit together hand in glove and it neutralizes the problem and yeah and and, and you can see you can see by the dispassionate way that I said it neutralizes the problem it's not like I have I didn't say oh and your problem is solved and your problem is solved I just said it's now zeroed out zeroed out now and it's to me it's just sort of like playing Tetris right <laughs> life is like playing Tetris I suppose and so I would not I am a very compassionate person but I would not identify a lot of my problem solving for other people as compassion compassionately driven I'm trying to think about how I feel when I'm putting these things together and a lot of the time it's not that I'm feeling any particular emotion, it's just like, oh, I have a, the solution to that and it needs to happen. Anyway, I, um, um, so it's not that anything particularly bad has happened to me recently that made me feel like oh, I've got to go out and do something nice to somebody, but I've just been out um, side doing some laundry, or, you know, like in the, um, the garage downstairs, and there was a guy, young guy, I guess in his 20s, sitting there. And he looks like a very typical white Christchurch guy, probably from 
this town or Waltham or, you know, um, and, um, you know, certainly um, um, not, not unpleasant at all, um, but, you know, one of those, yeah, very different from, from Wellington, Wellington guys. Um, and uh, anyway, he was sitting on a, one of Lou's chairs that he had had in the garage and uh, I could see, and as I walked around the other side, that he had quite a, um, a, quite a lot um, of um, abrasions on, on, the right, on the left side of his face. Um, and he had a leather jacket um, that was sitting in water that had been draining out from the laundry, I think. And I just picked that up and he said, oh, that's mine. And I said, I know, it's just in the water. And anyway, I said, you look like you've been in the wars. And he, he said, yeah, he had been. Um, he sort of started the story about halfway through and he may have concussion. But he said, yeah, I got the money back, but I... Um, but yeah, I yeah I woke up like this and we were and so I, from what I gather, even though he started halfway through the story, is that he had been beaten up and someone tried to mug him but failed. But he was knocked out and he was asleep for quite a long time on the street, well we unconscious and then woke up and then staggered over to this motel and um, Lou had let him call an Uber and gave him a chair to sit down on. But you know, Lou is rightly or justifiably um you know he's had plenty of experiences in his his line of work to know that you you don't show too much hospitality to strange males um yeah um but i do and so um i just said uh he seemed quite cheerful like he was like you know quite sort of jolly about it um, a, a jolly about it all and I, I imagine he was going off to the hospital or home I mean I've got no freaking idea um, but anyway I said do you mind if I just get you something to clean your wound um, and he said that would be amazing and um, I have a sense because usually guys will just go nah it'll be fine but I have a feeling that he's probably been in scraps before and probably knows that if you don't get um, your wounds cleaned you can get th bad things happen okay like it's gets into you can get in your bloodstream or your your you know certain maybe skins you can get sepsis or cellulitis all sorts of things i expect he's been there before um and i said okay great i've got stuff left over from surgery and that's when i had my well not surgery sorry but what you know like i was under whatever it was surgery i had an abscess I had an abscess and I still have quite a lot of stuff but I had to and I said I'm just gonna I said I've got exactly the right stuff and I and I ran up and I gathered all the stuff oh and I well you know the, the punchline is that his Uber arrived before I managed to get down and I was just waiting too long I mean I wasn't waiting I was rushing but I was focused more on getting the right stuff than just getting anything and I just want to show you because I just feel, I just feel, I just feel upset that I, it's just upsetting. I don't want to explain why I'm upset. So firstly, I got him just one like wipe, like you know any wipe, and it's not for his wound, it's for his hands. That's number one. And then I put some hand sanitizer in a little pill box, and then I put. Um, I don't know what's in that. I put some, um, it's like a really viscous um, form of um, iodine um, with, in a, a lot of a pill box with um, a, you know, ear bud thing, but they're not for ears. <laughs> And then um, a bunch of clean tissues, and um, I was I'd taken the that stuff, the iodine stuff, and I was going to just take it in and show them this is what it is because I, I, people don't, in case people don't want to put weird things in their face. I got them a whole bunch of band aids of different sorts, um, and I and then I was just I've got a drink bottle that I basically don't use. 
I filled it with water for him and I put in a couple of the new sleepers that I'd got today from City Mission because I don't know how long he's been out and it also means, oh that's right, the empty pill container was and I've got to pick a couple of pieces of those salt. The salt that I see is good for cleaning wounds and just in case he was a bit suspicious about the iodine mixture and I said you know you can just have good old salt and water if that's what you want and um yeah and i thought he probably would appreciate the bag as well because um he can put his jacket in if he wants or the loose things in his pocket and um and i even had a little rubbish bag for him for, for anything that he wants to get off and um yeah got down there and uh, I, uh, he'd gone and i just said to you did that guy go and he was like what yeah and um, it's not that Lou's wrong, it's just that it was just the wrong thing to say to me. It was just the wrong attitude to take with me. He just said, because you know, like, I keep walking into situations that I'm exploited. And, um, and... And I keep doing it, and I keep doing it, and I think that Liu is now just getting really pissed off with me. And, um, but I can't, uh, it's not in my power to change, really. I mean, it's a lifelong problem for starters, and it's part of a disability. And even if it was something that... I could change with effort, you know, like as if it were a personality style, because it's not, it's, 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 it's a neurocognitive developmental p problem, I mean, it may be a nice part of it, but that's what it is, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not, I'd be, I barely have time and effort to do energy and brain power to do anything. I'm not going to start working on someone else's idea of self-improvement. You know, I am I see a need, I am going to respond to a need if I can. And even if I can't, I'm going to try. That's who I am. I, I'm not boasting, as I've said. Sometimes it's just, for me, it's just pattern matching. It's just playing Tetris. Whatever it is. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm unlikely to change. I don't like when people say I'm not going to change of themselves because I think that's a stupid attitude, but it's not an attitude. It's something that I've learned the hard way. I am not going to change. I've changed fucking shitloads, but there's a limit. I can't, there are people, you, you have a basic personality. You have genetics. Genetics has a truckload to do with Sorry, I did say personality, even though I said it wasn't a personality, but a bit of development disorder, disorder. But you know what I'm saying, like your, your, you know, character type or whatever. It's a lot of it's just genetic, and it's not just environmental, and it's not just from trauma from childhood, and it's not because you're lazy, and it's not because you don't understand, or it might be because you don't understand. But it's like, I had this stuff and I just got really bummed out. And I don't want to explain why. I just wanted to share to make myself feel a bit better. It just seems like such a waste, you know, and I feel like I let that guy down. He said to me as I was rushing off, he said, I appreciate you, which means to me, you know, he was like, I suppose back in the 50s he would have been a... Um, what do they call them? Not a mod, um, what were they called? Um, it's 
a name for them in England. Um, not a bother boy, exactly. In America, he would have been a greaser, I suppose, you know. And the fact that a tough guy like him knew that he needed to clean his wound just made me realise that I fucking missed the boat and I just feel shit.